What is up y'all? How are you guys doing today? We are going to be kind of switching things up here. We're going to be doing something that I want to get into a lot more and that is saltwater fishing. I want to do so much more. So pretty much today is in the middle of like a bunch of storms. We just had storms. We're supposed to have storms. So it's kind of like meh outside. Now it might rain and it probably is like super, super windy out there, but we're going to test this out here. This was not the original plan I had for today, but my friend Gage is like, yo, I'm going down to the saltwater. You want to come with? You guys know I'm not like the most knowledgeable when it comes to saltwater fishing. I'm still learning, but he said that the winds and the waters are good for from the storms and everything. So yeah, this should be a lot of fun. He said that there are a couple of species we can go after. Personally, I wanna catch a flounder. These fish are so cool to me. He says he has the perfect rig for them. So let me stop talking, man. Let's get down there. Hopefully it doesn't rain. Hopefully it's not too, too windy. But let's see if I can lay my first ever flounder from shore and let's see what else we could get here today. All right, yo, so we're gonna be fishing with my buddy Gage today. What rig do we got cooking up here? Look, what we're gonna do is simple dropper loop rig not much to it what we did here is we just dropper loop probably about two inches between each knot give you about three inches when it's cinched and everything then on your hook you want about 16 inches 20 inches reason we're fishing it long like that is because as this weight's working on the bottom we're going to be fishing minnows kind of dragging that minnow back behind it just off the surface perfect for flounder hopefully we get on some today so that was the rig we were going to be running yeah i think we had a one ounce sinker on there and the goal was pretty much just to jig it and drag it along the bottom now flounder are really really cool they're a flat fish they just lay on the bottom they can camouflage to whatever like the ground is and they ambush their prey so we were going to try to skip these minnows on this rig in front of them and hopefully we get one of them to ambush now y'all can see the white minnow bucket right there i didn't show up but pretty much we just hooked them right through the nose so that they were still living and they're just like you know make a movement by the way it was like ridiculously windy so i'm sorry about that but yeah we got out to the pier got the rig tied got the minnow on and we just dropped it down I got fish on. Yo, I got fish on. Holy crap, dude, I got big flounder. What the heck? Bro, how do I get that up? What the heck? Holy crap, that's a big one too. Oh, he's gonna keep. He's gonna keep. Dude, Can I don't use your net. Holy crap. What the heck, dude? That was like ridiculous. Just keep tension on it. Yeah, I got the tension. I don't know. Yeah, he looks close. Yeah, I was gonna say. Oh man, he's thrashing, dude. So look, look, how we're gonna do this is I'm gonna get it in, and you're gonna come over. Oh sh Let's go, dude. Let's go, dude. Holy crap. Holy crap. Thanks, man. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. I think how how I freaking have, that, uh, <laughs> that was like a minute, that, like literally a minute into it. That's the first flounder I ever caught from shore. <laughs> what just happened, dude? Oh, he's big enough. Let me get let me get a little hold on. Whew. All right, guys, there you go, man. I don't know if you can hear me or not. Nice little flounder right there. That is freaking like that was like <laughs> dude. That was like a minute in. That's crazy. It means they're easy. You yeah. Dropped it down right in front of the face. What happened? You hit the right spot, and it's over. That's why I told you to keep fishing this rig with minnows. Yeah. Killer on this one. So as I said, I was like a minute in. I did not even feel the bite. I'm not gonna lie. It just like I think he inhaled that minnow. He was half an inch over what he had to be, so we were gonna keep that one and cook it up for some dinner in this video. Oh, I just got hit. Oh dang it. You got one? Let's go, dude. Is it a flounder? That's a nice little one too. Yeah, we're definitely chilling. That's sick, man. Ooh. I don't even know if you can hear me. That is the second fish of the day. We came out here, it's freaking Windy as crap, but uh, we are actually catching fish, man. That is all that matters. This is so sick. I'll see if we get a freaking doormat here. <laughs> Dude, he's jumping. It does look like he's giving jumps. <laughs> oh my god, he's doing flips. I didn't even know those were still around here right now. Yeah. Oh, I just got a little flounder. Yeah, <laughs> yo, let's go. Dude. I was just dragging that guy. Oh man, dude, that is adorable. Doubled up here, yo. Look at that little dude. <laughs> that is so funny. We need to take a picture of that. It goes. It's funny because if you guys saw that catch, I was just hand engaged his pliers and I kind of like dragged my bait along the bottom a little bit. And I must have dragged it right in front of that little flounder's face, man. I didn't even know he was on at first. But just like the way you fish for these fish, the way they eat it, just like, I don't know, man. These fish really are cool to me.
real good with the combo here. The Hard combo. Soft. That's the way to choose. go here? Yeah, we're, we're not going to pay. We're not prejudiced. <laughs> we love all tortillas. Baby. We love our tacos. Though. All right, y'all. So as you just saw, that was my first ever flounder landed from shore. It was really weird because it was like on the first drop. Like, that was, that was crazy. Right now, me and Gage are actually here in Safeway, and we're going to be doing a little bit of a catch and cook. Not only was that the first flounder I caught from shore, but this is going to be the first flounder that I ever tried. People always say the flounder are really good. He says the flounder are really good. I don't know, man. You think it's going to be good? Oh, it's going to hit. It's going to hit the spot. He's going to help me chef today, man. I don't know. Chef first date's been slack a little bit recently. That's the one right there, dude. That's the one. We're actually gonna be making some fresh sauce here, guys. Gage is picking out these cilantro right there. He said that's the one that smells the right. This is gonna be really interesting, man. I never made fish tacos like this. Never had flounder. That was the first flounder I ever caught from shore. A lot of firsts in this video. All right, that was a lot of fun, guys. Every time I go saltwater fishing, I feel like I just need to do more of it. Like, I feel like I need to get out on the salt more. The thing about that is that it's gonna be fall, so it's gonna be a lot better fishing. I mean, all the fish are running down back to the south. So during this time, man, I hope to catch a lot of cool fish. I mean, stripers and just a lot of stuff, man. Bluefish, everything's gonna go down. That is gonna be coming to the channel because every time, as I said, every time I do some saltwater fishing, I just feel like I wanna do more of it. Like, it's addicting, man. I feel like I get addicted to that pier. Okay, guys, that was the first flounder I ever caught from shore. This is gonna be the first time I've ever Ever tasted flounder. So Gage is actually coming over right now. His girlfriend's coming over. We're gonna have like a little dinner together with my girlfriend. It's gonna be like a little friends the dinner thing. Now he says he's a good cook. We got Chef First Date over here. So we're gonna be making some bomb dinner, man. I'm actually really excited for this, man. I love doing these videos where it's like the first time testing something, tasting something, you know what I mean? So yeah, we just caught the fish. We just went to the store, got the ingredients. It's gonna be the freshest fish possible. Let's get this thing started, man. We're gonna cook it skin on with the scales. A lot of people down south will call that on the half shell. That one's darker, that one's lighter. Is that just See, uh, and that's just that's the bottom of your fish and that's the top of your fish. So all it is is it's really just that color difference is really just in the color difference in the skin. That white belly and that's that brown on the top. Oh alright. Delaware is not in the south, but we love southern food up here. And if you think you eat southern food and your grandmother doesn't have bacon grease in her kitchen, you don't eat southern food. That's the only thing you use <laughs> to oil down our pants in a southern kitchen. It's like a heart attack. It is. You gotta die from something. What we got there? Just slap, slap your mama. <laughs> what is that? Is that the Just secret? Just slap your mama right there. That's the secret ingredient. That looks pretty good on there, dude. Yeah. yeah it's so good. Yeah, what, what exactly is it? Is it's like a, it's a Cajun seasoning. Got a bit more spice to it, a little mm -hmm. more heat, smokiness. All right. All right, Gage made this homemade salsa. What's it missing again? Large beef tomatoes, cilantro, jalapenos, red onion, little lime juice, salt and pepper. A lot more vegetables than I'm used to eating here. <laughs> Is it that, huh? Dude, that's bomb. <laughs> it's a little spicy. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. Especially the first night. I did. Well, I think it's good though. I like the spice. Dude, that freaking flounder looks so bomb. I'm guessing it cooks pretty quick, right? Mm -hmm. Dude, that looks freaking good. That thing was alive like, like what, like an hour ago? Oh yeah. <laughs> so which one was the top and which one was the bottom? This was the top. So it's the bottom. Oh my god. All right, y'all, so here we go. These are the uh, little tacos right here, man. Fresh caught flounder. This is the first time I ever ate flounder before. And then, man, a shout out to homie Gage. He literally cooked this. He prepared all this stuff, made some fresh salsa. I gotta take some uh, cooking tips from him. But this is going to be, as I said, the first time I ever tried flounder. I'm just gonna try it first, just like this, man. Yo, <laughs> that's like crazy, dude. That's like really good. There's like no fishy like taste to it at all. That's weird. When you fillet one, let it sit on ice for a little bit to get firm. If you try and fillet it quick, it's gonna be it's gonna be still like loose and not as tense. You let it sit on some ice like we did on the ride back. Yeah. Real easy to fillet. You'll get all that meat off. Yeah, man. We're gonna put some stuff in these tacos right here. Over. My grandparents, 
Dad's property. Dude, that's so good. There's a, there's a lot of that's really good. All right, y'all, it is now the next day. Now, not only was that my first ever flounder from shore, but that was actually my first ever keeper flounder. I caught flounder before on, I think it was a party boat. You guys can see it up in this video right here. Yeah, man, that fish was really cool. That whole experience was cool, man. Shout out to the homie Gage for actually kind of teaching me how to catch those fish from shore. You guys know, man, I mean, I tell you, I don't know the most about saltwater, but I want to learn. I want to start catching a lot more saltwater species. It's just so much fun to me. So yeah, shout out to Gage, man. And dude, that fish was like one of the best, fi it's probably the best fish I've ever eaten. Probably the combination of just the fish being good and the way he cooked it, that was like, dude, it tasted so good. I'm not even joking. It was definitely a lighter fish, but it really didn't taste like fish at all. Those tacos, they, they literally tasted so good, man. I want some more. Let me know guys in the comments below, like what's your favorite way to eat flounder? Have you ever tried flounder? before do you guys like it i mean that might just be my favorite fish that i've ever tried in one of these catching cooks definitely a lot better than the sand fleas mole crabs whatever you want to call them that i tried like a couple videos ago man so gage told me i didn't know this but basically guys flounder are born like, you guys know how they're flat and they have two eyes on like the top of their body i didn't know this but these fish are actually born like they have one side on each of their head and their one eye kind of like migrates over as they get older isn't that freaking crazy like the way they're shaped the way their body is like and the, the camouflage and everything i think they're so cool definitely want to get into a lot more flounder fishing in the future. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I mean, if you do enjoy these videos, make sure to go down there, hit that subscribe button. And if you never ever want to miss an upload from me, go down there, hit that notification bell. All of my links are in the description below. And guys, I just really, really do. I know I always say this, but I really do appreciate all the support, man. It's just so fun to me to make these videos. That's the only reason why I do it. It's just literally so fun. This right here, this is my passion. So yeah, I mean, I really do appreciate all the support. If you did like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. That is much appreciated. Let me know if I should do some more saltwater. Let me know what other species I should go for. Thank you again to gauge man he was he was the chef i need to uh take some pointers from him chef first date needs to up his game so yeah man look out for an evolved chef first date next time i do a catch and cook that's pretty much it here for this video today again just thank you so much for all your support let's keep this rolling man thank you guys for watching see you next video